this is Atomic Swift and welcome to another one of my videos. This time in, uh, in this video, as you can tell from the description, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Mac OS operating system on a virtual machine in VMware Workstation 15. Now the first thing you have to do is you have to go to this link which I'll put down in the description to download the uh, Mac OS Mojave Final APFS by TextViewer.com and what that is is that's basically a disk image of the Mac OS Mojave operating system that allow you to install it on a Windows machine using VMware you know to make a virtual machine okay so the two files you're gonna need for this are obviously you need to go to this Google Drive and download the Mojave VMware image file which is for the you know, the newest Mac OS operating system Mojave and then you need to go to this website well this link like I said I'll put both these links down in the description of the video this is uh, on Mediafire you need to download um, this is an unlocker tool which unlocks the option in VMware to allow you to install a Mac OS on a Macintosh operating system alright so what we're gonna do now so you know I already downloaded these so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the unlocker folder which I actually have open right here go to unlocker master you're gonna go down to this file right here win install right click run as administrator and it's just gonna open up a, like a DOS box command prompt whatever and it's just gonna tell you it's stopping VMware and like I said you do this after you install VMware workstation or VMware player like I said I'm using VMware 15 VMware workstation 15 you which you'll see in a second when I pull it in the view so like I said you just right click on win install and run as administrator like I said a black box will pop up and it'll tell you what it's doing it's gonna install it and then that that will allow you to do this so we're gonna make a new virtual machine as you can see I already have two of them I have a Mac OS 10.12 Sierra and Mac OS 10.14 which is Mojave so like I said this is VMware workstation pro 15 so what kind of what type of configuration do you want you're gonna hit typical hit next and then select I will install the operating system later see and now if you wouldn't have ran that unlocker tool you wouldn't have Apple Mac OS X as a option so you know these are the various different kinds of Mac OS you can install like I said today I'm gonna to be showing you how to install Mac OS 10.14 which is Mojave so you're gonna hit next and uh, we're just going to name this one demo so I don't accidentally delete the wrong one when I go to delete the, this later this doesn't really matter I don't think so and then we'll hit so I just put 60 just because and then store virtual disk as a single file next finish now next thing you want to do you want to edit the virtual machine so its default is eight, um, 2 gigs of RAM I want to set it to have at least eight so I just do 8096 that gives you 7.9 gigs of RAM two processors with two cores each so that gives you four cores and you're gonna hit right here you're gonna go to hard disk SATA remove hit add and then you keep it on hard disk hit next SATA recommended next you're gonna go to use an existing virtual disk hit browse and we're gonna go to on my desktop Mojave when I unrard if you download it from that link I show you well I showed you in the video I'm gonna put the link down in the description you're gonna to have to unrar it with WinRAR so hit Mojave hit open hit finish I, I'm not sure if this really matters I just hit convert and then hit OK and then you're gonna power up the machine and as you can see it's booting just like a Apple computer would boot it's just gonna take take a second it, it doesn't it doesn't take too long it's gonna take a few minutes here 
it's going to boot into the the setup for the operating system and you know just like uh, when you when you install windows and i'm going to show you what what you have to do when this is all done uh, which is installing VMware tools, which improves the performance of the virtual machine. You can only install VMware tools after you're done installing the operating system. So, which is what we're going to do here. So, let's give it a second. It'll go into the setup. I'm just going to keep it on here in real time so you can see exactly how long it takes. So, we're going to go down to United States, of course. So, United States, uh, hit continue. Continue, US keyboard. Continue, I'm not gonna transfer anything right now. We're gonna set that up later. We're gonna skip that. Now you are gonna need an Apple ID for what I'm gonna show you how to do later and which is what is really cool. So let's put demo. Um, matter because it masks it so I'm gonna hit continue after you type that in you have to do a password it won't let you hit continue and get past that screen without a password set up for the operating system all right so we're gonna hit continue and we're gonna go with the new dark one I actually like that the way that one looks All right, now just give it another second. It's going to set up the Mac, then it's going to reboot re reboot the virtual machine. And there you go. Now you have. You know you can click around in here, but now this is something you want to do. So you want to go out of the virtual machine. You know, take your mouse pointer back to your desktop, go to VM, click install VMware tools. And it's going to pop up on here like you just inserted a CD-ROM. Double click on install VMware tools, continue, install, continue installation. It's going to ask you to enter the password you just made up to log into the operating system. And then hit uh, enter, continue. Give it a second. Now, I haven't tried gaming on this setup, you know, with a Mac OS and a virtual machine. I, I basically just downloaded it to mess around with it. So I've never really messed around with uh, the newer Macintosh operating systems. And you'll notice the uh, performance of any virtual machine, not, not just the Mac OS, whether you're doing Windows or anything else, are gonna, it's going to be greatly improved. Okay, so uh, the performance is going to be improved. Everything's going to be faster. So that option you just saw. Sorry, I forgot to talk you through this. So it's telling you that VMware is trying to install something. You know, you want to allow. So see, so you hit Open Security Preferences or whatever that was. And then it says System Software from Developer VMware Inc was blocked from loading. Click Allow, and then close. And then installation was successful. It's going to reboot the virtual machine. Let's give it a second and you see that the Apple will come back up. There it goes. And there's the Apple. We're good to go. Now, installing from this image file, which, I'm, like I said, the link is down in the description. I um, everything everything that I tried worked. The only thing that crashed was iBooks, the iBooks program for viewing, uh, you know, EPUB files, eBooks stuff like that. That crashed. Well, I could open it and uh, get into it, but I couldn't log in with my Apple ID. 
and then you know see whatever my synced books were with my iCloud the app would crash which is why you have to go in and update the uh, Mac OS software to the latest version of Mojave so we're just gonna I'm gonna show you how to do that log in there and there you go yeah see it's telling you system extension blocked a program trying to load new system extensions signed by VMware so hit open security preferences so it's gonna pop up just click allow and I didn't change any of that other stuff So, I, I was entering my uh, Apple information. I didn't want anybody to see it, so I stopped the video for a second. So now we're going to go to Launchpad. We're going to go to Books, and I'll show you what I was talking about. So if you go to Books, said if you go to Sign In with your Apple ID, the iBooks app crashes. But if you hit Not Now and then go to Bookstore, you can get in there. So the way I found to fix it is you go to the App Store, and this is all free. So you just type Mac OS, or wait, no, what did I go? No, Mac OS was how you upgraded it from Sierra. Um, oh, that's right. I went to System Preferences, and then you go to Software Updates, and this is all free. So you let it check for updates. See, it tells you your Mac is up, your Mac OS is up to date, but then it tells you that it's not. So you're going to install its 2.5 gigabyte install file, and it's free, so you don't have to worry about paying for anything. Hit download and restart. And the install takes about what well, maybe uh, I want to say it took maybe 20 maybe 25 minutes because this is just downloading the update and then I'll show you how it reboots and then you know sits there and goes into it I'm not going to let you sit there with me and watch it but just to let you know that the update does work I've got an updated version on here already that runs perfectly and the uh, the iBooks problem is is fixed with the new update So yeah. Anyway, that's the yeah, you know, that's the gist of it. Once you have that installed, so we're just gonna close that because I don't need that anymore. We're gonna shut it down, and I'm gonna actually boot into my other one to show you that iBooks does work in that one. And th this is the one that's actually fully upgraded. Just let it let it shut down real quick. And we're gonna I'm just gonna get rid of it. So I'm gonna go to manage delete from disk. And we're gonna go into this one. This is the like I said, this is my one that's fully up, updated and everything. It's got VMware tools installed and the latest uh, updates to the Mac OS uh, Mojave operating system. And if you want to full screen it, you can just go to view and then full screen yeah so just let it load here I'm just going to show you that and get into the operating system and show you that iBooks does work so that if you've never tried VMware Workstation it's a, it's a great piece of software um, I mean, I wouldn't game in it or anything like that. I mean, you're not getting that good of performance. Well, maybe you could play some games in it, but I mean, maybe some older DOS games or something. I mean, you could use VirtualBox or DOSBox for that, though. But it's just cool, like, if you haven't tried an operating system, like, if you want to see what Linux is like, you can install Linux on this, Mac OS, pretty much any version of Windows, DOS, um, all that stuff. You can install Unix on there too. Okay. So let's see it. There it goes. Now it's 
waits a sec, then it really speeds up. So we're just going to enter my password to log into this. Is, like I said, this is Mac OS uh, 10.14 Mojave with the latest updates. Uh, where are that? Um, yeah, see now, with the other one, you didn't get the option to look what's new in Mac OS. Yeah, see, this is the new, the new uh, dark mode. It's pretty cool. So now we're just going to go into iBooks, or books, whatever. And see, you load right in. It does not crash. I'm logged in. For some reason, it's not sync. Well, maybe I didn't back up my books to, to my cloud or something off my iPad. But anyway, so that is that's the end of my video. Um, if you have any uh, questions, comments, you know, I mean, you can always make make it run probably run better if you increase the number of processors. I just went with two and then two cores. I'd believe you four core. You know, it's running with a four core processor, eight gigs of RAM in the virtual machine. Um, I, I put eight. I mean, I have 32. I could have went with more, but I just went with that. So, so now I'm just gonna go to view, hit full screen, and we're gonna get out of this. And uh, I, I don't know. I mean, if you want to see more tech videos like this one, like messing around with virtual machines, you know, leave a you know leave a comment. I can make more videos. You know, messing with different operating systems. Uh, hopefully this helped you out if you ever wanted to check out Mac OS it is nice that people finally figured out how to get it to run on a virtual machine in VMware I think it runs in like some of the other uh, I think virtual box and those other ones too but like I said I'm using uh, VMware workstation 15 I, believe, I think it's 15 uh, workstation 15 pro that's right and uh, so that's that's how you do it. That's how you run Mac OS. Like I said, I'll put the links for the two files, the unlocker and the actual uh, disk image down in the comments. And this uh, disk image was provided by textviewer.com is where I found it and I found the link and stuff. So uh, that's my video. Um, if you want to mess with Mac OS, this is a great way to do it. Uh, thanks for watching my video. Likes, comments, everything's appreciated. And as always, bye for now.